Hello friends, welcome to my channel. First of all, I would like to thank all the subscribers. Because of them, I am encouraged to do more and better videos. And I would request all the viewers to please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to press the bell icon so that you are notified when I publish my new video. This video is going to be very important for all the students who are preparing for competitive exams or who are preparing for scholarship, NTSC, Olympiad or even any student who wants to do fast calculations or who is somewhat weak in doing the calculations. In this video you are going to see some simple steps to do the calculations. Here we are going to use Vedic Maths tricks for 5 types of problems. First is multiplication of any number by 11. Any large number by 11 we will find the answer in one line only in less than 5 seconds. Then square of 2 and 3 digit numbers. General multiplication of 2 and 3 digit number using Vedic Math Sticks. This trick is going to be very easy. Square root and cube root. And the last is multiplication of any number by 9 or 99 or any number of 9s. This trick is also going to be very helpful for you. For example, if you are multiplying these two numbers, the answer is going to be this. The answer is found in less than 5 seconds and in one line. So I would request all to see the video till the end. Let's move on to our first topic. Multiplication of any number by 11. So what is the procedure? We will start with one small problem first. We write this number 8 1 is 8. Then we add this number. 8 plus 5 is 13. We write 3 here. 1 is carry. Then we add these numbers 6 plus 5 11. 11 plus 1 this carry is 12. So we write 2 here. 1 is again carry. Then 6 1 the 6. And 6 plus 1 this carry is 7. Let's see another problem. 3 ones are 3, then we add these numbers, 6 plus 3 is 9, then we add these numbers, 8 plus 6 is 14, out of 14 we take 4 here, 1 is carry, 8 plus 0 is 8, 8 plus 1 carry is 9, then we add these numbers, 2 plus 0 is 2, and the last is 2 ones are 2. Next problem. First we write 6 1 the 6, then we add these numbers, 6 plus 5 is 11, we write 1 here, 1 is carry, we then add 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 1 carry is 7, then we add these numbers, 4 plus 1 is 5, then we add these numbers, 8 plus 4 is 12, we write 2 here, 1 is carry, then 8 plus 6 is 14, 14 plus 1 carry is 15, we write 5 here, when 1 is again carry, 6 1 the 6 and 6 plus 1 carry is 7. So this is our answer. And now the last problem, 1 1 the 1, add these numbers, 2 plus 1 is 3, then 3 plus 2 is 5, 8 plus 3 is 11, we write 1 here, 1 is carry, 5 plus 8 is 13, 13 plus 1 14, we write 4 here, 1 is carry, 5 plus 0 is 5, 5 plus 1 carry is 6, 7 plus 0 is 7 and the last digit is 7 ones are 7. So as you can see multiplication of any number by 11 is a very easy example. Now let's move on to our second topic. Second topic is finding the squares of 2 and 3 digit numbers. First we will find the squares of 2 digit numbers. Let's take one example. For example we are going to find the square of 53. So how do we find the square? What we do is, we find the answer in three parts. In the first part we write the square of 5, that is 25. In the second part, last part we find the square of 3, 3 square is 9. And in this part, what we do is, we multiply these numbers, 5 is a 15 and multiply the product by 2. So 15 to the 30. Now for the answer we need only one digit from these two parts, only last digit. So here we will take 9 in the answer, here we will take 0, we will add 3 to this part, so 25 plus 3 becomes 28. So this is going to be our answer, 53 square is 2809. Let's see one more example, 67, 
Now what we do is answer is in three parts. For first part we make square of six, that is thirty six. For last part we make uh, we make square of seven, it is forty nine. And the middle part we multiply these two numbers first. Six seven is a forty two, and then we multiply it by two. Forty two two is a eighty four. But now we need only two digits. From these two parts, one digit from this and one digit from this. That is, we need only one digit from these parts. So only last digit we are going to take. In answer, this will be nine. This four is added to this part. Eighty-four plus four is eighty-eight. So we take again last digit only. We add eight to this part. Thirty-six plus eight is going to be forty-four. So this is going to be our answer. Sixty-seven, sixty-seven uh, square is. Four four eight nine. Let's see one more example. Let's find the square of ninety seven. So answer will be in three parts again. First part is we make the square of nine. It, it is going to be eighty one. The square of seven is forty nine. And for this part, we multiply the terms nine into seven. Nine is the sixty three, and multiply the product by two. Sixty three into two it is one twenty six. But we need only one digit from this part, so answer is nine units digit. We add four to this part, so it becomes one hundred and thirty. We again need only one digit, zero. We add thirteen to this part, so eighty one plus thirteen it becomes ninety four. So our answer is going to be nine four zero nine. So as you can see, we can find the square of two-digit number in a very easy manner. Let's move on to the squares of three-digit numbers. Let's find the square of 534. So how do we find the square? First is we take the square of four. Then we multiply three into four multiplied by two. So two into three into four. Next part we multiply these terms by two, two into five into four, and add the square of this number, middle term. So add square of three. Second last part is we multiply these two terms by two, two into five into three, and the last part is we find the square of first term, five square. You might think it is taking too long to solve by this method. But I am showing you each and every part. That's why it is taking more time. But with practice, you won't be needed to do this step. You will be able to do the next step directly. Now the four square is sixteen. Three fours are twelve. Two's are twenty-four. Five fours are twenty. Twenty-two's are forty. Forty plus three square nine. Forty plus nine is forty-nine. Five threes are fifteen. Two's are thirty. And five square is twenty-five. Again. We need only one digit from all these parts except the first part. So we take answer as six unit digit. We add one to this part. This number becomes twenty five. We write five in the answer. Two is added to this part. This number becomes fifty one. We write one in the answer. Five is added to this part. This number becomes thirty five. We write five in the answer. Three is added to this part, and this number becomes twenty eight. So the final answer is square of 534 is 2,85,156. Let's see one more problem. Let's find the square of 609. So the last part is this digit square. Then we multiply these two terms by 2. 0 into 9 into 2. Then in the next part, 6 into 9 into 2. Plus square of middle term plus zero square. In the next part, two into six into zero, and the last part is six square. So what are we actually doing? In the first part, we write the square of this number, last number. In the next part, here. We multiply the product of these two numbers by two. Zero into nine into two. In the next part, what we do is we multiply these two terms by two and add the square of middle terms. So two into six into nine plus square of middle term. In the second last term, we add first two numbers product and into two. So two into six into zero. 
and the for the last term 6 square so 9 square is 81 0 multiplied by anything is 0 6 lines are 54 54 into 2 is 108 108 plus 0 is 108 6 into 2 is 12 12 into 0 is 0 6 square is 36 we need only one digit from all the parts except the first one so we write 1 in the answer 8 is added to this part this becomes 8 we take 8 from this part 10 is added to this part so this becomes 10 we write 0 here 1 is added to this part this becomes 37 we write 37 here so this is the answer of 609 square so let's move on to our next topic the next topic is multiplication of any 2 and 3 digit numbers so let's see first problem Again here the answer is in three parts. For the first part we multiply these numbers. 8 3 is 24. This part we multiply these numbers. 5 2 is 10. And in the middle part we multiply 5 into 3 that is 15. 8 into 2 that is 16. And add these numbers. Their addition is 31. So first part here is 8 is at 24, first part here is 5 2 is at 10 and for the middle part 5 into 3 15 plus 8 into 2 16, 15 plus 16 is 31. Again the rule is same, we need only one digit. So in the answer there will be 4, we will add 2 to this part, it will become 33, we will take 3 in the answer, we will add 3 to this part, it will become 13, we will take all 13. So the final answer is 1334. Let's take one more example. 69 multiplied by 75. So first part is 9 5 is 45. Here first part is 6 7 is 42. And in the middle part we will take 6 5 is 30 plus 7 9 is 63. That is 93. And for the answer. 5 here, 4 is added to this part, this becomes 97, we take 7, 9 is added to this part, it becomes 51, we take complete 51 from this part, so the answer is 5175. So as you can see, squaring or multiplying of two digits using Vedic mathematic tricks is very easy to understand. So how to multiply three digit numbers? Let's see first problem. 125 multiplied by 236. The answer here, here is in 5 parts. First is 5 into 6 is 30. The second part what we do is we multiply these two terms and add them. 6 into 2 is 12 plus 3 into 5 is 15. For the next part what we do is we take 1 into 6 is 6 plus 5 into 2 is 10 plus these two product multiplication of 2 into 3 2 3 is a 6 in the next part what we do is 3 into 1 and 2 into 2 3 1 is a 3 plus 2 2 is a 4 and for the last part what we do is we multiply 2 1 is a 2 so the answer is here 30 here 27 22 7 and 2 but again we need only one digit so answer here we have 0 in our answer we add 3 here so it becomes 30 we take again 0 3 is added to this part it becomes 25 we take 5 here 2 is added to this part it becomes 9 and this part is 2 so this is our answer 29500 so next problem is 608 into 325 I will explain to you all the 5 parts one by one. The first part is this multiplication 8 into 5. 8 5 is a 40. For the second part we multiply cross and add them. 5 0 is a 0 plus 8 2 is a 16. 0 plus 16. In the next part what we do is we take all the 3 digits. 6 5 is a 30. 
plus 8 threes are 24 plus 0 twos are 0. In the next part we take first two digits. 6 twos are 12 plus 3 zeros are 0. And in the first part we multiply just 6 and 3. 6 threes are 18. So this is 40, this is 0 plus 16 is 16, this is 54, this is 12 and this is 18. Again we need only one digit from all these parts except the first one. We take 0 in the answer. We add 4 to this part, it becomes 20. We again take 0, 2 is added here, it becomes 56. We take 6, 5 is added here, it becomes 17. We take 7. 1 is added here, it becomes 19. We take all two digits here, 19. So this is our final answer, 1,97,600. Let's move on to our next topic. The next topic is square root and cube root. Let's find the square root of few numbers. Here I have written the squares of numbers up to 9. 1 square is 1, 2 square is 2, 2 is 4. 3 square is 3, 3 is 9, 4 square is 4, 4 is 16 and like that up to 9, 9 square is 81. Now what we do is, we find whether there is a number whose square is first group. The first group is 9. Is there any number whose square is 9? So there is a number 3 whose square is 9. So in the answer, our tenth digit is going to be 3. And the last group here is 61, though 1 is there at the units digit. In which square do we get 1 at the units digit? In 9 square we get 81, so 1 is at the units place and 1 square is also 1. So our answer can be either 31 or 39. The answer will be one of the two. How can we find that whether it is 31 or 39 without even calculating? What we do here is, these numbers are between 30 and 40. So we write the square of 30 and 40. 30 square is 900 and 40 square is 1600. Now this number 961, it is closer to 900 than 1600. So therefore our answer will be also closer to 30 than 40 and hence our answer is going to be 31. So when we find the square root of 961, the answer is 31. Let's see another problem. First make groups of 2 starting from left. Now what we do is we find whether there is a number whose square is 73. But there is no number whose square is 73. Then is there any number whose square is less than 73. So there are many numbers whose square is less than 73. 1 square 1 is less than 73. 2 square 4 is less than 73. But the last number whose square is less than 73 is 8. 8 square is 64. This square is less than 73. When we move on to 9, 9 square is 81. So the tenth place of our answer is going to be 8. Now. The second group is 96, we have 6 in the units place. So in which square do we get 6 in the units place? In 4 square 16, we have 6 in the units place. And 6 square 36, we have 6 in the units place. So either the answer is 4 or 6 for the unit digit. Therefore 84 or 86. These two numbers are between 80 and 90. So 80 square and 90 square, it is 6400 and 8100. I think this number is more closer to 8100 than 6400. But if there is any confusion, we can find the square 86 square. We just learned this method how to find the square of any two digit number. What was the method? What we do here? We find square of this number 36, we find square of this number 64 and in the middle part 8 6 is 48, 48 into 2 is 96. Then we write this 6 here, 96 plus 3 is 99, we write 9 here, we will add this 9 to this part, it becomes 73. So answer is 7396. So our final answer, the square root of 7396 is 86. Let's see how to find the square root of 4761. 
first we make the groups of 2 then we find whether there is a number whose square is 47 but there is no, no such number whose square is 47 so which square is less than 47 1 square is less than 47 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, 5 square 6 square is also less than 47 but 7 square is more than 47 so we take 6 as our 10th place. The answer will be 6, the 10th place. Now 61 is our next group and the unit digit is 1. And 1 square is 1 and 9 square is 81. So again the 10th digit can be 1 or 9. Again how to find which is the square root 61 or 69. These numbers are between 60 and 70. We make the squares. 3600 and 4900 this number is closer to 4900 so our answer will be also closer to 70 hence the answer is going to be 69 therefore the square root of 4761 is 69 I hope you like this method there is one more method for finding the square root which is called as division method and there is one general method which is called as factorization method or prime factorization method we will see those methods in our next video. So let's move on to our next topic. The next topic is finding the cube roots. I have written here the cubes up to 9. 1 cube is 1, 2 cube is 2, 2 is 4, 2 is 8. And similarly I have written the cubes up to 9. Let's find out the cube roots of some numbers. First taking a short number 2197. Here also the method is somewhat similar. Here we make the groups of 3 starting from the unit digit. So here is a group of 3 and we prefix two zeros here. So here is a group of 3 again. Now what we do is we see whether there is a number whose cube is 2 or less than 2. So only one cube is less than 2. 2 cube is 8. It is greater than this group 2. Therefore our tenth digit is going to be 1. So our tenth digit is 1. Now what we do with this group? This has 7 at the units place. And just we have to see in which cube there is 7 at the units place. There is 7 at the units place in only 3 cube. So 3 cube is 27. 7 is at the units place. So our unit digit is going to be 3. And hence the answer cube root of 2197 is going to be 13. Let's see one more problem. First we make groups of 3 again. Starting from the left part. We one prefix 0. Now what we do is. We find whether there is 17 is a cube of any number. It is not. Then which cube is less than 17? 2 cube is less than 17. 3 cube is greater than 17. So our unit tens digit is going to be 2. So our tens digit is going to be 2. For this group what we do is we just look at the units place. It is 6. And just see whether there is 6 in the cube of any number. So there is 6 in the cube of 6 cube. 6 cube is 216. So 6 is at the unit digit. Hence our unit digit is going to be 6. So this is our answer. Cube root of 17576 is 26. Do you know what is this 3 here called as? This is called as order of third. And in square root we write only this. There is no number written here. So there is always a 2 written here. And this number is called as order of third. If we don't write anything, it is assumed that there is a 2. Let's see one last problem of this. Again we make the groups of 3. Now again we find whose cube is 941. But there is no such number. Then whose cube is less than 941? 9's cube is 729. It is less than 941. So our tens digit is going to be 9. And for the last group we see only last digit. It is 2. And which cube has 2 at its units place? 1 cube, 2 cube, we have 8 cube is 512. 
So 2 is at its units place. Hence our final answer is going to be unit digit is going to be 8. And therefore cube root of 941192 is going to be 98. So our last topic of this video is multiplication of any number by 9s. There are three types in this topic. When the number of 9s and the number of digits in the given number are equal. That is for example we are multiplying 23 by 99. Here the number of digits in the number are 2. Number of 9s are also 2. Or 615 into 999. Number of digits 3. Number of 9s are 3. Or last problem. 4581 into 9999. Here also number of digits 4. Number of 9s 4. So how to solve these type of problems? The method is very easy. We will get the answer in 2 parts in less than 5 seconds. First what we do is reduce this number by 1. So it becomes 22. And then we subtract this 22 from 99. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 2 is 7. So here is our answer 2277. Very simple. Again the similar procedure. We reduce this number by 1. 614. Then we reduce this number from 999. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 minus 6 is 3. So this is our answer 614385. The last. Reduce this number by 1. 4580. And then reduce this number from this. So 9 minus 0 is 9. 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 minus 5 is 4. 9 minus 4 is 5. So the answer is 4580549. Here few students make one mistake. They subtract 23 from 99. You don't have to subtract 23 from 99. What you have to do is we reduce this number by 1 and this number has to be subtracted from the number of 9s. Let's move on to our second type. So the second type is when the number of 9s are greater than the number of digits. Here the number of 9s are 3, number of digits in the given number are 2. Here the number of 9s is 5, number of digits in the given number are 3. So this is the second type. What we do here? There is just a slight modification in this method. The starting is same. What we do is we reduce this number by 1. It becomes 64. Then what we do? How many 9's are more here? Here one 9 is more. So that more 9 is written in this second part. One 9 was more. So we write one 9 here. And the last part is again same. What we do is subtract 66 from 99. 9 minus 4 is 5. And 9 minus 6 is 3. So this is our final answer. 6, 4, 9, 3, 5. Similarly this question. The first part is what we do, we reduce this number by 1, it becomes 214. How many 9's are more here? Here there are 2 9's are more. So we write 2 9's here and then we subtract 214 from 999. 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 2 is 7. So the answer is 214999785. Similarly the last question. This number is reduced by 1, it becomes 20. How many 9's are more? Here again 2 9's are more, we write those here. And then what we do is subtract this 20 from 99. 9 minus 0 is 9 and 9 minus 2 is 7. So the answer is 209979. Now we have only one last type remaining where the number of 9's are less than the number of digits. So let's move on to our third type. So as you can see in these problems, the number of 9's are less and the number of digits are more. Here also the number of 9's are 3, number of digits in the number are 5. So what we do here? The starting is similar. We reduce this number by 1, it becomes 614. Now what we do? How many 9's were there? 2. So we underline 2 digits and we subtract the remaining part from this 614. So remaining part is 6. We subtract this 6 from 614. This number becomes 608. And for the right hand side part, we subtract this underlined part from 99. 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 1 is 8. So our answer is 60885. 60885. This is our final answer. Let's see next question. 
what we do here is reduce this number by 1 21541 21541 and there are 3 lines so we underline 3 digits and then what we do we subtract the remaining part from this whole number we subtract 21 from here so we get this part as our answer and for the RHS what we do, we subtract underlined part from 999. 9, 9. 9 minus 1 is 8, 9 minus 4 is 5, 9 minus 5 is 4. So our answer is 21520458. Let's see one last problem of this type. So this is our last problem. What do we do here? The first part is we reduce this by 1, 60980. Then what we do, number of lines are 2, so we underline 2 digits and then we subtract the remaining part from the whole number. So we subtract 609 from the given number. So this is our answer and for the RHS we subtract this underlined part from 99, 9 minus 0 is 9, 9 minus 8 is 1. So this is our final answer 6037119, this is our final answer. So as you can see multiplication by number of lines is a very simple problem, you can find the answer within seconds. So that takes us to the end of the video, we have covered lot of topics in this video. And I am sure you will definitely benefit from all these topics. And there is an old saying that practice makes man perfect and the saying is perfect E2. So I request all of you to practice few more problems like these. We will meet soon in my next video. Stay safe, stay healthy. Till then, goodbye.